Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Cora, let's go. Good girl, Lucky. Good job. Let's go. Cora, heel. No, Tico, heel. Sit. Break! And they can go have some fun. She's not so sure what to do. Oh, she's looking better. Sorry. There, you got tangled. Good dogs. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl, Aki. Let's go, puppies. Good girl. It's all right. So just an off-leash ramble with these guys. It's fun stuff. Sometimes I'll say, let's go. Give a little tap because she, oh, she did get out of there. I would have tapped her if she didn't get out of there, but she got out. So let's go, let's go. Let's go means we're just moving. Tioga, quit. So for her, he's just trying to submissively lick her mouth and she's turning her head away. She doesn't like it. She doesn't want dogs in her face. She doesn't want strangers in her face. She just wants to be left alone to sniff and pee. <laughs> huh, Aki? Kind of like that guy. Just leave me alone. I want to pee on things. Good girl, Aki. Good job, Cora. She's doing well with her healing off leash. Oh, you are doing good too, Tico. Let's practice her tone recall. I'm gonna say come. Aki, come. Tone. Good girl. Good. Aki, sit. Good. Break. Good girl. Like he can walk up and sniff because they're distracted, but if she were just standing there, that wouldn't be okay, like if she weren't distracted in that. So she's fine to a certain degree. It's pretty good. So, good girl, let's go. One thing with her, and you can see she kind of goes sideways a little bit when she, a dog passes her sometimes. Sometimes she just turns her head a little sideways, which is avoidance, and it's super great of her to do that. Um... One thing I was going to say about her and her and the muzzles is the owner should really practice with the muzzle doing stuff like this so they don't have to be on edge. The muzzle is a great safety net, literally, um, keeping dogs safe from a dog that's questionable in their reactivity or definitely a dog that's aggressive. So I highly encourage the owners to do either short leash and muzzle, sorry, short leash and e-collar went off rambling or muzzle and e-collar. Cora, let's go. Tap. Good girl. It's definitely for the dogs in some ways, but at this point with these two dogs, it's also really for the owners to start to relearn how to be with their dogs and look at their social cues, understand them, pay attention to them, see what they need so they don't need to do anything about it. Let's go, Aki, let's go. Tap, good. So you can keep other dogs. See how she did a little head turn when Poppy looked like maybe she was walking that way? You know, she's not digging being around every other dog. Aki, Tioga, let's go. That was a little bit higher than necessary, but I said, let's go, and she didn't listen, so she got that. Break. Let's go. Aki is really, really improving and she just needs more exposure like this every single day. She needs to go to towns and parks and outside schools and you really just need to take her everywhere. And you just have to keep dogs and people out of her immediate space and then she'll be good.
Smells <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Say two, say two, say two. They're showing off over there. They have some one over They're there. They're showing off. <laughs> Good dogs. Well done. Well done. So call Tico. Nope. Yeah, and and walk into her. So now go to like a thirty. Like she's doing a little bit more corralling of him than. I know, and that's okay because it would have been too high. And now say get right now. Get. But walk into her. Oh. Yeah. So do you want you want to make her move, not pretend she's a pretend she's a, a hyena, yeah. <laughs> and you like really want her to go. Like pretend you're scared of her and you're trying to make get. it. Yes. Yes. That's gonna be huge. And then then now look at she's like giving you space. So call Tico. And tell, tell, say good to Aki. And so, he's, he's kind of crazy in a good way. Good. Good. Yeah, perfect. Do you see what you, how you can mitigate? But, and that was great because you were looking at Tico, but you also had eyes in the back of your head to make her go. That's claiming space. And you're claim, oh, okay. she's not claiming you by jumping on you. Yeah. You're claiming your space and making her get out of it okay. because you're inviting this other dog in, mm -hmm. which in her history can be, has been the negative yeah. thing, you know? So you're not letting her resource guard you mm -hmm. anymore. And you're making her leave your bubble. And she's over there, wherever she is. Oh yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Huge.